Danny J Show. Songa swiri down to up to right things we. Nyaza to this narrative and I cheat we. Can I'm chill out deep is up deep and I beat we. Make you spill a bean if you know what I mean. Andy. It's time! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The Denny J Show. You already know. Run G in the building. Absolutely. How we With, doing? Very well. How are you? Great, man. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. We missed you the last um, episode. Did you really? Yes. That's not what the viewers are saying. We you were know, struggling. You know. We were struggling <laughs> without you. Now nah, you did well. You did well. Yeah. It was, it was a great episode. Good. Yeah. Ah. But even before that, the Olinda Chapel one, people really loved that one. They did. Yeah. There was two episodes. I don't know if everybody knows that, though. Yeah, yeah. Because people seem to have, like, watched the first one a lot. But that was a really good interview. It was amazing. But you know what the problem is? Uh-huh. We keep on saying the same thing. So many people are viewing uh, the channel. Right. But few are subscribed. And uh, that is very noticeable when you look at Olinda Chapel's interview. Because we did the part one and then the part two. Uh-huh. So the part one, I think, is uh, almost like 40,000 views or it's right. going up yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then the, the part two... Is actually below 20,000. So, like, it's 19. So what that tells us is that the people who watched the first one didn't get to know that we had loaded the second part because they're not subscribed, right? So you need to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. That's the most important thing. Because Absolutely. every time we upload something, it just comes on your screen. You know that we've uploaded something. You and we do upload every week for the people that don't know. So, but I mean, it'll be easier if you subscribe than, you yeah. know, right? Yeah. It's up to you. you Absolutely. Understand? Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Coming on to this week, this week we've got another fantastic guest. I think it's a problem the way we're doing it because we've had three celebrity guests in a row and then people are going to get used to that and then they're going to think next week we're going to do that again. <laughs> but, but tell them, Ron, how we are ordinarily supposed to do this. All right, so what the way we structured the show is that we would like to do episodes, the two of us, and then when we do get celebrity guests, it's like a, it's a treat, yeah. Right. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we've been doing a lot. We've been lucky enough to get a lot of people that are interested in coming on the show. Yep. Um, but people should also get used to watching interview. I mean, we do talk about things that are current. We're talking about what's happening in Zimbabwe, just in the world. Yeah. Right. So I just noticed that a lot of our views when it's just me and you. Yeah. Like add it down. Yeah, Quinda, they, they, got, they got no love. <laughs> I, I think they, the love? they're very we bored crazy, of being you. We got crazy good content. Absolutely. In here, yeah. Yeah. And we don't even need guests. I mean, we don't, but like I said, a guest is a treat. Like, it's yeah. nice that people actually are interested in coming on the show. Yeah. So, I mean, tune in all the time, guys, you know. But today we have a very special We've guest. We've got a great guest. Yeah. We've got a great guest. I'm Fantastic so excited. Guest. She's like a superstar in her f- trade. She's a superstar in her trade. Yeah. So, uh, should we talk a bit about her before we say who it is? Should people guess, or should we just go right into it and just say who it is? Yeah. You're going to introduce her to us. Um, all right. So, who, who do we have? Who do we, who today do we have? we've got Zozo. Um, some people know her as Zodwa, but on this show today, it is Zozo. So, Zozo, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. To the Daily J Thank Show. You. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Um, We've, it's, there's, there's a lot. We, we have a lot to say. But before we get into what everybody wants to know, because you're a very interesting guest and people want to know a lot about you. Um, and you've done interviews before, but today we're doing it a little bit differently. We want to ask the questions that have never been asked before. Because yeah, this is the coolest platform to have an interview. And, uh, it's just a we're, we're cool cooler than all the other people. Last of the. I did cool as. Yeah. 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 Um, Zozo. How are you doing today? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm doing well. How are you? Great. You're looking. I think I'm better than you. Doing yes, better I, than I, I'm, you. I'm, I'm certain. I'm better than you. I'm certain. Happy I'm certain 50th, you. by the way. You look Thank amazing. You yes. It's late. It's late, but yes. happy 50th. Happy. I'm yeah. 50 until the 31st of December this year. So it's my birthday every day. There you go. Wow. Until the 31st. I mean, you look good. Thank yes. You. Ah, you look good, Akla. Hey, you were right. following the. Um, I hope I didn't mess up the audio because I'd left the applause on. But you oh. know, this was also it's, it was no, okay. like we were we were up, applauding her the whole time. We were following up the, um, up to the preview of your birthday. So I think it started like okay from when I noticed it. I'm not great on social media, but I think I did. it was like a month before. So I think everybody was anticipating it. So there is no one in this country that does not know it was your fiftieth. So yeah. I think we're uh, counting on from the 1st of January I to yeah. the birthday. Wow. 
And we weren't invited <laughs> because we're not uh, friends like that, you know. We no, we weren't. We but need to, we need to, like... Please, we, we also, please... Go up the ladder. The, the jealousy Yo. I felt every day, it was real my way. Yeah. Shame. No, but, you know, happy belated. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it and I hope you were surrounded by people fun. that love you, care for you. Yeah. It looked amazing. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so, much. first question is, we want to know... Tell us about yourself. Tell us something that nobody knows. Who is Zozo? Your home life, your work life... Who are you? Oh, I think my life my life is an open book. Everybody knows everything about me. Okay. What do you not know? That's we know uh, Zozo. Uh, you know, Zozo became very popular to most people because she was uh, G's ex-wife, right? You know that, I think right? I had my name well before I met him. Oh, no, in the socials. Remember in the social. Remember you had a big name in your, in the corporate world because you've oh, always been social, a superstar. Oh, okay, we're talking about the socials. Okay. Travel agent, yeah, maybe yes. in the socials, but in the corporate yeah. world, I was known way before. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. no, no Maybe some of you before definitely. you were even born. Definitely. So I've been around for... Okay. Definitely. Yeah, well, as youngsters. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Zodra is a, a girl, though I'm 50, but still I'm a girl. Right. Born in a place called Bubi in Matebele Land, in Mbembezi. Um, I'm a Kosa girl. I know most people think Kosas are only in South Africa, but we have Kosas in Zimbabwe, oh. in uh, 40 kilometers from Blawayo. That's where I was born and um, went to primary school there and then moved to Harare. Back to Blawayo, back to Harare, and I'm still in Harare up to today. Right. Did my, um, I don't have a university degree, by the way. You don't? Mm. No, oh, I don't. That's amazing. Because people that's, think that's that uh, you have to have a degree to be yeah. somebody in the society. I'm not saying that it's wrong to have a degree. Don't get me wrong. Right. Yeah. But you can still achieve what you want to achieve with or without a degree. Okay. That's so amazing, it's just, yeah. I don't have a degree, not because I couldn't have a degree. It was a choice that right. I made that I don't want to go to university. Right. But nothing against people that go to university. Right. I actually, my first daughter... It's graduating in three weeks' time from on a MBA. Oh, really? My second daughter is doing second year in that university. So nice. I've got nothing against up with oh, people going okay. to university. Well so that's me. Then I moved to Harare, started a business, you no know, worked for people, different companies for a number of years, then decided to start my own business. And I've never looked back since then. That's amazing. Nice. Would you say you were lucky um, or resilience paid off what's your story because like you said you, you, education you did not um you, you did not go to university mm -hmm. but obviously you had the street smarts to make it what about you do you think made you succeed i think knowing what you want in life and knowing what knowing who you are and believing in yourself and believing in what you are capable of doing as a human being is what has made me the person that I am today. And knowing that, look, the, for me, nothing is impossible. Yes. There's nothing I cannot do. I can, if I'm given a task, I always make sure I give it my all. I give it 100%, which is why the brand Traverge has grown to be what it is today. Because I believe that when a client walks in, they must be given, they've come for a reason. They mustn't go back empty-handed. They must go back with what they've come there to do. So, and knowing who your customers are, Knowing who you are and what service you give is what has kept us afloat. That's amazing. Do you have a certain tar target market for your clientele? No, I don't have a target market. Everyone is my client. You also can be my client. Got you. Yeah. All right. That's nice. Um, and then family-wise, can you, um, you, like you mentioned, you have the three daughters. Is that two? Two daughters. Oh, okay. And you live with them? I live with them. Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. And uh, marital status? Single. Yes. Single. So, like, so but gentlemen. not available. Okay. 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 Single. Single, but, not of, but not Single, available. but not searching. Yeah, not searching not, and not available. Not searching and not available. Yep. Okay. That, that sounds awkward. Like, I, usually when you're single, you want to... No, single is not married. That's what okay, you mean, I get correct? That. But she's saying not available, which means she doesn't want nobody. No. No. As in she's got somebody. Correct. So she's not single. She's like oh, uh, single, but no, not single. No, single is married. When they say right. marital status, it, it, it right. says yeah, single, okay. married, exactly. divorced, right. widowed, okay. and... You know. okay, so, so she's, so she's so in she, a relationship. So she answered that one. Right? She's in a relationship. She's, she's just not married. She got somebody. I didn't say I was in a relationship. Okay. I just said I'm there not you available. Go. Tricky. 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 I told you. Tricky. So she might or might not have a boyfriend. She may or may not. Yep. Is, that, is that how we keep it? Yeah. Let's leave it like that. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. It's fair. Okay. All right. Um, we wanted to know a little more about um, 
the business that you're involved in because a lot of people look at you and your success and they wish they were you. Um, so just a, a brief background <laughs> on <coughs> your business, what it, it, what it entails, because when we, when we hear about travel agents, we just think it's a place where you go to buy a ticket to go somewhere. And then presumably that's where you make your money. Is, is there more to the business? And what is it if there is? Well, it's basically where a place where you go and buy your ticket and travel. Mm -hmm. you, you book your hotel accommodation, airport transfers, and um, tours, you know, right. tailor-made tours, depending where you want to go. Most clients come to us not knowing they want to go on holiday, they've got money, right. and we help them deciding on destinations that must they, they can visit. So it depends, but we deal mainly with corporates. Right. Then during holidays, then the same corporates have got, want to go on holidays with their families. They right. will suggest destinations for them and tailor make packages for the clients to the destinations that we will have assisted them to pick. Right. So are you there every day? Like, do you, if, if somebody, I mean, you got a lot of fans, right? <laughs> so, but are you, like, are you at work? Are you on the ground? Are you there? Or does your business run itself? It, and now it runs itself, right. but from when it started up to, like, I'm trying to win myself off. Of course. Because I've got other business interests in Absolutely. other countries, mm -hmm. but still on the same uh, travel agency business. Mm -hmm. So I've got people that are running the business. It runs on its own. We've got three branches in the country. We've got an office in Zambia, and I'm open, working on, from the 1st of March, we've got a new branch opening in Congo. So that's where I'm going to be most of the time. Under Traverse. Oh, right. and still Traverse. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, so... It is a business. In Zimbabwe, it's a standalone now. We've been operating since 2003. Right. So I've got people that have been there since, oper since the start of... Since um, 2003. Of, since 2003, yes. So the business is running itself. We've got people that are very well qualified and able to handle the business without me. But when I am around, when I'm in Zimbabwe, I'm in the office. Like now, I'm coming from the office. I've been there since 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I had to come here. Nice. Yeah. We appreciate Absolutely. making time for us. Um, so, Travage is um, a, a travel consultancy business, I assume. Um, d is there any other uh, business that you're involved in uh, which has nothing to do with travel? Or all your business is centered around travel? Yeah, it's all just Travage travel. That's all I'm doing for now. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, it helps sometimes to specialize, isn't it? Yeah. I just have one question for you. What separates you from the rest? Well, th like I always say, there's only two travel agents in the country, only Travage and others. We give the best service that no one else can give. Travage and others. Yes. <laughs> we, I like that. I like that. Two. I like that. Two. Mm. Two. One, yeah. two. Okay. Yeah. And um, we've got a lounge at the airport, only travel agents in the country with two airport lounges. Most travelers know tr uh, lounges to belong to airlines, right. but we're the only travel agent to have a lounge at the airport. We're also the o first travel agent to have an office at the, um, at the airport, at the Robert. Nice. I had to do a nice. shot. Well, thank I had you to for do that. a shot for something. I, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad. I didn't know there was only two, but I mean, now I know. We, we learn every day. <laughs> travel agent and others. And, and others. Okay. So coming... coming um, onto uh, the Zozo that a lot of people know from um, being Jinimbi's wife. Um, I want us to talk about, um, yeah, from being Jinimbi's wife. I mean, a lot of people started knowing you then. Because remember, Jinimbi was larger than life. And, and the association that you had with him, be him having been your husband or whatever, really propelled you. A lot of people who don't know your corporate side started knowing you from G, because G was that guy. He was larger than life. Everybody knows G. Can we agree on that? Uh, let, let me rephrase that for him. I think what he's trying to say is that you cannot separate G from you. The two of you come as a package. If people talk about G, a lot of times they talk about you. When people talk about you, they talk about G. You cannot it's just, it, it's a pair. That, um, it's like doves. That, that's, that's the way I've seen it. That's the way I've known it all my life. Yeah. I've always known Zodwa and G, G and Zodwa. Mm. So that's so, where that, that, so I've clarified, I've helped you. So right? that's, that's, that's where we are now. Right. Um, uh, it is often said that you were instrumental um, in G's earlier success, in his very early days. Um, how far true is that? Well, I, what I'll say, we worked together. So 
Look, he's not here to defend himself. I think so that's I'm a yes. I'm not going to say. That's no, a yes, it's, it's not a it's not she's, a yes. She's saying that we worked together. Okay. So okay. I can't say I was instrumental. He could also you, you could also say he was instrumental to my yes, success. Yes. Absolutely. Do you know yeah. what instrumental? Why I chose the word instrumental because mm-hmm. instrumental is not like you made him. No, I know. I you know, do you could have supported him uh, financially, emotionally, other. and so on. You we understand? We supported each other exactly. financially, emotionally, in every way. We supported each other. We right. were there for each other through thick and thin. Great. Yeah. I think. Where did you meet? At the airport. Really? Yes. Both traveling? Were you just there? Like, I was receiving someone. I think he was also receiving someone. I hope it wasn't a girl. That's how we met. He okay. was in a BMW. He says, Oh, my name is Jeannie. Me. You know, mm-hmm. you know how Jeannie is. Right. He used to be like, So, right. who are you? Spoke, exchanged numbers, went to his office, spoke, didn't like him. For three years, so you gave him your nu- but you gave him the I number. I did give him a number because remember, I'm a travel agent. I mean, I, oh, everywhere, strategic. any person right. I meet, right. I'm yeah. selling a ticket. Got gotcha. you. Especially when Potential you meet someone business. at the airport. Okay. When I fly, every time I travel, I've got business cards. Okay. When the people that I'm traveling with, when I return, they become my clients. So anyone I meet, for me, I see money. I don't just see a person right. that I've met. So when I met him, yes, I met him at the airport. Yes, he was genius, whatever his name was. Then, and he had other intentions, but all I wanted was business from him. Because I met him at the airport, and I thought, oh, okay. And he was driving an a, a expensive car. Mm-hmm. So I said, okay, he could be a client. Then we became friends. We were talking for three years, trying to ask me out him and his kid get friend. And every time I met him, it was hell for me, because he came to my office for, though, every day for that week. Then we forget about it. We bumped into each other again for three years before I admitted to, I mean, I finally decided to give us a chance. So the guy was hitting on you for three years. But why didn't you like him? He was, you know, genius was just, he looked like a street kid then. He was just this guy. Oh, was, was, oh, <laughs> nah, I mean, I mean oh. you know, genius, you know, he was very loud, very rowdy and all that. He said, what should I be doing with this guy? Okay. But there was just something about him one day. I just said to myself, you know what? Let me give us a chance. He's really, yes, he's not my cup of cake, but he ended up being my cup of cake. So and the, he was persistent. So the moral of the story is persistent. No, he, I mean, she said three whole years. Three. And also at that time, he lied to me his age. I thought he was, he told me he was 30 something. I only found out three years later that he was only 26. Jesus. Can you believe it? And he didn't look, he didn't look that age. Maybe because he was, he was too mature also for his age. Mm-hmm. Right. So he right. didn't look that young. But uh, he was very mature up there. So. So, right. so at that moment, you became a cougar. <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes? <laughs> no. I like, I like how Ranji just froze. No, no, um. you know. Okay, how do you feel about the word cougar? Nothing doesn't. Not it's just a, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a white people term. I mean, it's just a word. It doesn't affect it, me the, in any way. The the phrase is a cougar is somebody who prays because cougar is an animal, right? So it's yep. praying. Yeah, but that's, clear, that's clearly she wasn't praying. I wasn't no. praying. For, for he what was she, praying. Yes, mm. he was praying, not mm. me. Yes, but a cougar is somebody that preys on the younger, like they they play in that field. They right. were praying, looking. But remember, I didn't know his age. Right. I actually got to know his real age when we traveled to China. And then I, I had his the passport. passport. Yeah. That's when I knew how old he was. Romantic mm. trip. Man, well, we're China, and he lost his passport. We're stuck for two weeks. Where? But you were holding In it. China. No, wow. I was holding it at the airport until we go to the hotel. Okay. Then he went clubbing. He left me at the hotel. He went clubbing, uh-huh. went with his passport. He came back without the passport. I never go anywhere with the passport when I travel. Well, like since that time, yeah, I learned. I don't you, leave the hotel with my passport. If you get arrested, so you tell them we go to the hotel. Yes. And I got us a passport. It. Lost it in, I think he might have lost it in the, in the club or in a taxi. Oh, so yeah. because of the, also the communication, the language communication, we couldn't communicate. We were stuck for two weeks. Yeah. We but couldn't. We had to get onto a train for 24 hours from Guangzhou to Beijing to the embassy to apply for an ETD so that we could come back home. I mean, but it was good for your love. It was I mean, it was good it was for your love. For your love. Anyway, two no, weeks. But remember, remember, two weeks. But money is finished by that time mm, because we've done everything we'd mm. gone there for. So we've yeah. spent everything we had. Okay. So now we're like, living on borrowed time. We didn't mm. have as much money as we would wanted to have. Oh. And remember, that was back then when we were still struggling our businesses. Mm. So we didn't have 
Imagine. No, maybe even. But what do you say? brown sugar in You know, that's very deep. But that's true love, yeah. because when you go through stuff like that with someone, I mean, that's, no, we went that's through a lot love. together that's, that's because, look, there were times we didn't have. Yeah. People know a finished product of Genius, yeah. right. and people know, know a finished product of Zodwa. Mm. But where we came from, nobody knows. Mm. So people will say so many things. No, he made, she made Genius, or Genius made her. They say so many things. They say things that they don't know. They were never there when all these things started. Right. They were never there when we were working. Right. They never saw the hard work that we did. That guy used to work very hard. Yeah. Those that know him, Genius will be in Joburg at 8 in the morning. The next time he's in Botswana, or oh, he's even to Zimbabwe or is wherever for business. Yes, used to play, but he, he played hard and worked hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you could have easily put a claim towards uh, G's estate if you wanted because we all know that you were involved in a big way even when he was building his house and so on. Why is it that you, you never put a claim to anything? It was I don't want anything that he had. Fine, yes, we worked together. I could put, put a claim if I wanted, but I've got my own things. I'm very comfortable. I don't need anything from Genius. If I couldn't have it when he was alive, why should I get it when he's gone? Do you think it, the circumstances would have been different if you didn't have your own things? Maybe. Maybe if I didn't have... Maybe I don't know, but I don't think so. So the moral know. of the story is know. get a wife who is a hustler and does her own thing and looks for her own money. Well, when stuff goes down, she won't come after you. Stuff. Well, I mean, it de- I mean, listen, you're a self-made woman, right? So you don't seem like the type of person is going after somebody for something else, correct? Yeah. So in your own right, you're okay. You don't need any, you don't need any handouts. So yeah, I don't need any handouts. Not that I don't want to. No, you don't. It's not that you don't want, <laughs> yeah. but it need. There's a need and there's yeah. a want. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. If if you were struggling and you didn't have anything, it would be in your best interest to go after some. I mean, no one wants to live with nothing. But can I only Chances if I was struggling, I would never have left him in the first place. So I wouldn't have had a need oh, that's to a good th- fight for his things because I would have been there. Mm-hmm. I as like it. As a widow. <laughs> right, okay. That, she she that brings up a good point. You said left. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about, I mean, I, I'd like to know because I really you, don't why know. You left? Why did you leave? Because like you said, he was fun, you're hardworking, charismatic. We just agreed to disagree that let's... But there's always something. Girls. A person you, know you love. You no, we, we, we still, we, you know what? Those that were around us know that as much as we left each other, we never left each other. Those that know us. Is that hidden? Okay. Is there a hidden? Those, is there, is no, there a hidden? those, uh, those uh, that know us. Right. Yes, Remo. They know. We, we got it. Remo is there. Yeah. yeah. But Remo. those that know. Remo knows the weekend before Genius died. Right. Oh, wait, Whoa. wait, come on! Oh. I wish everybody so could so see okay. the look. Okay, guys. Safe yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. As much as I had left, mm-hmm. but I had not left. Okay. That's what I will say. So there's a hidden context in there. I don't think it's hidden. No, it's for, hidden. For, it's for, 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 for it's very clear. Those that know, they know. Those that know, they know. Those that know, they know. Those that know, they Yes. Zozo never left. I never left. I never left. We, the we never you left each other. Okay. Yeah. Right. Which is why I'm sure even the time when he passed on, correct me if I'm wrong, Remo. I think I was the first person that was called. Is this true, Remo? Because you were there. I was always there. Remo, you're here. We, we, you we were it? there for each other in never terms of never. you know, when 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 I had a problem. Yeah. Like right now, if I decided to drive home and I get a tire puncher, yeah. the first person I would call would be genius. And whether he's in South Africa or he's in America, he will make sure my car is sorted. It doesn't matter where he is. If he had a problem, the first person he would call would be me. And I would be there for him. So we, I think our friendship was very close. We're very, very, very good friends. Everything else, yes, would happen. But we're very close as friends. We had a very neat friendship, very neat relationship. I, th- I think she so decided to love him from far. I mean, I'm a, I'm a woman, so like I I I want to ask because, oh, so Zozo, I think what everybody knows about you in social media is that like you love the kid, you still to this day, right? And you show it in everything that you do. There's so much respect. There's so much like it's it can be felt. So how is it that you can love somebody from? Because I don't know if I love you, I want to be there with you. I'm like there there, like there there there. Terrorist. Like yes. <laughs> like, like, you know, we li- literally, literally 
spoke to each other. When he wakes up in the morning, the first person, well, that's what I want, I, I would like to make myself believe. Okay. The first person he called was me. If he didn't call or I didn't call, we would both ask, oh, what happened today? Even Takata Musana, we just phone each other. That's going to go popo tizana. That was us. So, look. So, okay. He came to my house literally almost every other day to eat. He would have breakfast, he would have lunch. Sometimes I would be there, I'll find him home eating with the girls. Well, you're very then intimidating for the girls, the, the wayward women that came in between there, right? Because if you're there, because you're there, but you're not there, but you're there. I was always there. Right? There. So I'll you're there, but you're not there, but you're there. So, so you know what? <laughs> if in the you feel an energy. But you are yes. there. Do you understand? Like you are there. I remember she's one time you did. No, no, she's there. She's not there, but she's there, but she's there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? So, so <laughs> like, I, if, if I walked into a restaurant and Genius was seated with a girl, she would if run. I walked into a restaurant and yeah. you were seated with a girl, that no. girl belonged to either Remo or Kitty or whoever was there. Oh, my life. Literally, he yeah. leaves and comes and be with me. And the girls didn't like that. So it was, it did not matter where we went. We go for a function, mm -hmm. he's invited as genius, I'm invited as Zodwa. As long as we're at the same function, whoever he's come with doesn't exist anymore. He's now with me until we leave. Not because I'll say come, mm -hmm. but he'll just come. Are you attacking the ladies? Never, for what? Why would I, why would I so, so here what you, I'm he, actually quite, I took quite. He knew, to, he knew where, he, where home was. He knew mm, that's the there, but not there. Yeah. We, are, we are there. <laughs> you know, we are there yeah. at the restaurant. Even when yeah. he passed on, uh -huh. find those that claimed were with him. When Genius Gin, passed on, I was the only one who was recognized in the, by the family. Right, true. So if they were there and I wasn't there, mm. <laughs> why were they not there? But they're not there. <laughs> so, so they no, weren't there. Saying. Technically, no, so you were there, there, but they were not there. He was there, you were there, they were not there. But they thought they were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the tricky bit is. <laughs> Don't tricky bit. Yes. <laughs> so that's why I, sometimes I say, you know what? As far as genius is concerned, look, guys, may you soul rest in peace, but he was a nice guy. Can you teach me how to be there? Please, please can you be, can you please also teach me how to be there but not there because when I'm there, you they will see me there. All these other women want to be there. There. No, she said I come for notes. Please, can I come to teach me? I'll teach you. She has a lot to teach. No, you might have us. I'll teach you. Don't worry. Thank you. Tell us. Be loved. The most important thing is to be loved. But these women, they, they don't, they can't love from far. No, these women of today, they 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 don't love the men. They love the money. It's the money that comes first, then they love after. That's true. So th that's why the relationships never work, because they don't love an individual for being an individual. It's what are you bringing onto that's the table. That's so true. That's what most of the girls of today... So, so how, do we, how do we know? How do we know what they're loving? No, but you can tell. It's or, obvious or the they want the money. Once the guy gets broke and there's no money, they don't sit there. They don't stay there. G was arrested so many times. Mm -hmm. Those that claimed they were there for him were never there. Absolutely. So when you, well, if you want to know who is for you, you it's don't. in difficult times. Absolutely. So you must go broke first and then see who's there. No, whether you pretend to be broke even if you're not broke and Absolutely. say they'll stay. I agree. That's, and you know, oh, so let Prince me... Akim. Prince Akim. <laughs> Coming oh, to me. Come but me. let me ask you this. Okay, so at the level that you are now, right? This is a good s subject to be playing at. The level you are now, if a person comes to you and approaches you and pretends to be broke, you don't want them. What do I do with the broken guy? See what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no, See no, what no, I'm no, saying? No, so there's no love. There's no, no true love. No, no, no. What no. she said, it's I'm different. I'm saying now. She's now, established like now, now. Me as yeah. a person. As a, yeah. I'm talking about me as yeah. Zozo. Me as Zozo. Mm -hmm. What do I need a broken nigga for? Love. What love? Emotional love? No, never. No love like that. So there's no more love in the city. There's no there more love. I think love, love but... In a it, in a for minimum, me, for, for, for a man to convince me that they love me as broke as they are, for me to be very difficult. Potential is not enough. No, there's no potential. If you can first, see, the, don't that potential must first germinate manifest. to something. Must manifest. Then you come. So, so what are you bringing to the table? I'm love. done. I'm bringing no. love. I also have love. Okay. So you, if I bring love, Ranji, there's no love. No, uh, I mean anymore. Okay, I have to be 100% honest. I, and I mean this in a very nice way for the people without money. Um, I think, you know what? <laughs> I like that. That's a shot. No. Before, before you even speak. Shots. Okay. No, no. Do you know what? I think that... 
Do you understand? Like, wakuda ku hakira kamu yaki mume muno, asuda ku muka, angoda ku rara, asuda ku shanda. You know what? Why me? There's so many people in this world. Why me? But now you see. No, but I do love. Like I believe in love. I don't so, believe in so all and of Ranji, this. You're telling me like there are minimum requirements that you guys expect no, but before you can even consider loving someone. You have a daughter. Yes. You have a daughter. Do you think your daughter, anything that comes so in, there's no more love now. No, there's love. There is love, That's but what are you bringing to the table? Absolutely. I can't be looking after you. Uh-huh. No, no, I'm bringing love, because but I'm no. working on a deal. The deal hasn't materialized. Let it materialize first. Hey, hey, no, so I won't need you come. anymore. Deal your materializer. Then you know come. Exactly. But still, it mustn't be just one deal. Because the marriage did not pay A big deal. No, it can. How big is big? That's What's a, the definition of big? A, a deal a, for twenty thousand can be big for I you, want but it might not be big for me. Deal, but it's taking long. I need you to just be there. Let's no, be patient. We wait for it. That my mount <laughs> patience is a virtue. Yes. To manifest. Yes. <laughs> then we talk. But like I said, I think yes. People say. Because I'm comfortable, I've got my own things. Yeah. So I mustn't look for money in a mm-hmm. guy. Mm-hmm. I don't want to look after somebody else's child. Why should I do that? Okay. I've got my own kids that I must look after. Probably this nigga has his own kids that I must look after. Right. I'm done my kids. My daughter, for example, the last one, is left with two years at uni. Mm-hmm. Right. So after she's done with university, my money is for me right. to enjoy. Right. I've worked so hard to be where I am today. Absolutely. So I must enjoy myself. What's my, why must I look after somebody else's child? Is that now baby in that person buying them clothes, doing this, doing that? For what? I must enjoy myself. Let me travel. Let me enjoy life. I'm 50. I'm almost about to retire. So, and I must start looking after somebody else's child again. No ways. I'm not doing that. So, the guys, what uh, so, so he just told us is it turn AIDS? I'm not sure. This is a very different angle from what we got in our last interview. Right. Um, when we were interviewing um, Olinda. Because she kind of, her, her, she says she was just born in a family where the women just take care of men, right? And, yeah, th- you know, that's how she, she rolls, right? And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, to each his own. But um, it's just, it's interesting to hear that this is your take. I've done my thing. I've got my kids. Yeah. I've got enough. I'm sure you've got enough family that yeah, needs to be taken care of. Family that needs to be taken care of. Of course. It's different if you're with someone who had money when you met or make money together and then things don't go bad and things like that, then they don't have. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying then leave him because this person has provided for you before, but unfortunately something can happen and then you lose all the money or whatever. You can't then leave the man because, you know, his business has gone down and all that. You work together and still stick on with it. What I'm just saying is someone coming from scratch with zero, and wants to start from where you are. With you. And you yeah. have to give him the capital to start his business. And most of these guys are not loyal. You give them the money to start their business, they are now chasing after the slave queens. Oh, and on, with no. your own money, that you've, it's more painful. And it then becomes painful. And it becomes abuse. It's too hurtful. Yeah, yeah, it becomes abuse. They are taking advantage of you. You've helped them get out from wherever they were. You give them the money. Then they use it for the wrong reasons. Then that is what I'm saying no to. But if someone we have been together, you've worked together, it's then his yeah. business, it could happen it's to different. me as well. Of course. My business can go under. Mm-hmm. You've got a man who's got money, your business can go under. If that's what we say, then he says, oh, you're no longer making money, then I don't want you anymore. So I'm saying, yes, you no longer have the money. Something has happened. Let's help each other. Start another business. You fall and you rise. And we, we life help goes each on. Other. You help yeah. each other. Push. But not help somebody else's child from scratch. Wanting that That's now preying on someone. That's the cougaring. Yes. That's the cougaring word. Yes. But Denver, just out of curiosity, why do men do that? Because I'd, I'd like to know that. Why is Can it that I I'm answer for him? Yes. It's because they are lazy. They don't want to work. What do we That's do work exactly? As in, why do, you, why do you prey on, on women? Because, you know, you'll find a woman that genuinely loves you, right? I meet you. I love you from the bottom of my heart, right? Mm-hmm. I've got a million connections in the world. I love you so much, I want to put you on. Right. The minute I put you on it, the minute you start making money, now you're doing everything. Why would you hurt the per Like, I love you, which is why I helped you. You're not supposed to find out, so I'm not exactly hurting no, you. No, but it's not about finding out. It's not <laughs> about... Really like you know, it's not about... Because I think... <laughs> no, but some people, do you know what? But the, the minute they catapult themselves and they're there, all of a sudden they want to forget about you. All, all yes. this... All, yes, anarchy, all of this rubbish. Yes, rubbish. Yeah. Now, yeah. now they're junk. Mm. But when... You know, when you had nothing, I was important. So I'd like to understand, is it, because it's abuse, I think a lot of women are suffering from that. 
And then now you meet a man that's actually good to you, yeah. but you don't want to help him. You know, like I could introduce you to one person and your stuff could go like this, but now I'm scared because of what Denford did to me. Mm. Now, I, now I'm the angry person. It, you know, it, it's, it's a very real dynamic for women. So I'd like to understand, do men consciously go into it saying, oh, you got wrong send this, this time. Tina, do you want to answer this one? Yeah, Rimo, you have a very good one to answer this. Do you want to answer this one? Hmm? Uh, you want to answer this question? Okay. Special guest. My bad, my bad, my bad. Special guest. We're going to have to do a, a whole interview with this guy. It's yes, it's very important. We do. So Yeah, you got the question, so my, right? My attorney, my attorney is here. So the question, the question, Tino, was that, do you go into this? Do you see a woman and say, you know what, oh, you got... So I'd like to understand why why you do and, and and also I don't know if you have kids or not, but men with female children, now you know that you're seeding a bad seed. You know that ain't right. So go, go, on, go on ahead. So definitely not. Like I, exactly as you said, it comes back to that predator-like behavior. And I feel like more than anything, you must always ask yourself, what are your intentions? And the problem is a lot of people have an agenda in life and they don't come with pure intentions. But those people are always very easy to spot out. And you need to be discerning as a person. And when you see the red flags, even as a female, don't ignore them. Because they were there. You were just saying, no, munu wangu munu bo. And has munu bo. No, munu wenyam. And that's why I said the game loves nobody. You also have to be discerning as a person because they are predators. My hyenas, my vultures. Yep. But you have to now come into play and say, uh uh-uh. uh. Also, what role do I play in my own demise? Because why are you also letting trash niggas into your life? Strike. Why are you also letting trash people into your life? It's your fault. Because they saw themselves. <laughs> yeah? They saw themselves. <laughs> but you still chose him. So you are also at fault. Do you know what are the red flags? Red flags, it's, 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 it's in the behavior. It's in the behavior. Can go out one night, doesn't come back, oh no, my phone died. So how did that stop you I from know, coming home? Father, I work so you, my phone no hey, my, but, but the thing is, repeated behavior is a red flag. Maybe it's a bad phone. Ah, ah, ah. I am very, like, I believe that I'm very, like, like this. So yeah. I believe a lot of things that are sexy. I'm thinking, why would you lie? No, 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 no. You see, that's that's problem number one right there. That's problem Set. number one. You got to be woke. Mm. Everybody's selling something. Why are you buying? Straight, hey, every straight. Thing, say, you are buying, you are buying. No, yes. no, no. Mm. Love. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, love is you. Uh, love doesn't mean you are stupid. Wait, what? You, you know, love, love, you must still, you must still think. You must still ask yourself, I work At as much as we started here and we got to point B. Can I go through C, D, E, F to Z with you, even with your toxic behavior? You have to ask yourself, I do the ratio system. Even if you've got seven good things about you that I like and I, and, I, and, I, and I fucks with it, I'll play with you. But then if you've got seven red flags and three good things, bye-bye. What are yeah. you still there for? Because so, no one's perfect. I, I think I like... Thank you, thank you, Tino. Friday. New show loading, new show loading. Tino is going to host the next... Boys thank you, Tino, that show. was great. Great. But uh, I, I see the glass is empty, friend. It's over here. You can come. You I'd can like Zozo come to chime into that. Come though. I, I like what he said. But yeah. for me, yeah. he's speaking like a man who's just saying, you know what? I do this. 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 this can is, women do the same thing? This is, why, this is why Zozo is not playing with any funny niggas. No, but I'd like because to hear. Because she understands. She gets it. These people are. May, you know what? Maybe I women. just don't get it. Because for men, I feel like there is a double standard. Men can go here and go here and go here and go here and go here. For women, you're not allowed to go here. So aren't we supposed to try? You're not allowed by who? Who, who, who doesn't allow you? Society. No, I'm saying it's society. This so so, so you, you, can't, you can't be with me today and be with that guy tomorrow and be with that guy. We'll call you something else. You I don't know, want that. I know that. <laughs> that's why you guys abuse us as women. Because yeah. we, that's exactly we what I'm can't saying. be there or there. Exactly. But that must stop. If you can do it, I can do it too. So um, it's just simple and straightforward. But I'm not but, but, saying but that. But you're going to be called names. You call me names, but what I'm saying is it is not right for men to take women for granted mm-hmm. and do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Let's just respect each other. Exactly. Like you said earlier, what I don't know doesn't hurt me. Exactly. If you're going to do your thing, do it. I must never find out. Absolutely. I just must never find out. It's about respect at the end of the day. It's just about the respect. About if we respect each other, respect I think... what broke up the, the marriage. Remember no, what she I, said? I, respect I, is a big thing. I guess. I, it's about I mean. respect. Because many men, most of these men, they cheat. 
I believe it. They cheat. And I'm okay Most with of them, it. they cheat. But the problem comes with those that want to cheat and their cheating must be known by no everybody woman. that I'm cheating. In your face. That I'm a player. Yeah. You right. know, these boys of today, they want to be players. Of they course. want to be a ladies' man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they want to be. Mm -hmm. That's what then. That, that's where they get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if you then do that and you are you are being looked after by a sugar mummy, right? <laughs> then sugar mummy will leave you. Of course, and go to the next to the next thing. one. So that's what happens. But I'm not saying it's good. Well, I think age is nothing but a number. There's nothing wrong dating a younger guy. Right. As long as you guys click, as long as you understand each other. Mm -hmm. I had a really good relationship with Genius. He was, I think, 11 years younger than me. Right. So we, we connected very well. We never we find we had our problems like any other relationship. But I just think at the end of the day, it's about the respect. And even those women that then cheat. <coughs> do you know, when a woman cheats on their man, it's very difficult to find out. You'll never, never, ever find out unless we tell you. When you find out, it's because we want you to know. And then and, it's over. And, and when we want you to know, it's, it's because we are tired of you. Absolutely. We want out. Absolutely. So when your wife is cheating on you, you will never, ever, ever, ever know. Right. Never, ever know. How, how do you get to know? Uh, so, so can you give us no, pointers? You how do we know? You'll, you just will never know. You'll never know. <laughs> She's saying unless, unless you... You want to, like you'll unless know. your wife wants to leave and, you, then though you she'll know. Ma make sure you know when the relationship so they can is over. Just be there for no, when the relationship ever. is over, over forever, and not and you never know. You won't know. But so just before we move on from the Janimbi thing, did you ever? Because okay, obviously there was other women when you were there, but you weren't there, but you were there, but you were there, and they were there, but you weren't there. But did you ever? Did you? I once got relationship advice from G. You know, nineteen mm -hmm. years what do I do? You know, it was the most, I felt like he was like an ice prince, right? Because he gave me advice where he was like, Ranji, I just don't want to be emotional. What's up in the feeling station? <laughs> Which is, you know what, like, you know what? And I, I was, he was in Las Vegas. I was in the States at the time and I called him, we talked for an hour, but I left that thinking, okay, so I, I shouldn't have a heart. I should be emotionless. I should, he like literally like told me to be like just an iron rod. Right. So, how did you break into that? And also, di like, did you di was he a person that you could discipline? Like, how do you? Because you know the two of you, name which you discipline on. So, like, how did you discipline him? Because definitely he listened to you. I think what we had was like a special relationship. We had we 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 we, we understood each other. Okay. So, I'm not saying he never cheated. Mm -hmm. I know he did cheat. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. But. Like he called them, he called them toys. He said, "Oh, these are just toys. See? You know, we just pick one toy, you play with or That's how. That's what you would say see, whenever you found out oh. that he was doing something. That's what. That's how he treated those girls as toys. I know times on And those that knew him, they knew that he would say, "Please, you can be with any girl I've been with, but not my sodo." He can testify to that. Remo, DJ Remo. He, he Can you confirm or deny these allegations? Him, but any other girl, he just did not care. So his friends could feast on any other girl that he was with. <laughs> because they were toys. What do you do with toys? Feast. You play with the toy and then he takes the toy, you take the toy. You know, look, that's how he treated them. If ever he treated anyone different, it's because I don't know. I'm talking about what I knew of him. And what he told me whenever I found out about what he was doing. That's what you say to me. You know men, they lie a lot. Of course they do. They always want to make you believe. They want, when I was with genius, he would make you believe you're the best woman on this earth. And he's never been with any other. Right. Yet you knew what you know. But I would believe that, no, people are lying. Why would they say such things about him? You know? But as a woman, then how do you... If he's saying toy, 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 as a woman who's no, got daughters, not, not all how time. do you feel no. about that term? Because, you know, as no, a woman... This, is, this happens when you're, it's a fight, remember? Okay. Right. You've found something out, you are fighting, and those are the ways that will come out. Okay. But after everything has calmed down, you would apologize, they are lying, it never happened. Okay. These were my friends, you know, it was Remo who had a girl, or it was <coughs> Kitty who had a girl, <coughs> it was not my girl, I was by myself, but I happened to be there, the same thing. They always lie, you know men now, they lie. But because we, you've got a soft spot for somebody, you believe Absolutely. whatever he tells you, and you, life goes on. Tomorrow you're happy again. It's like the phone dying. 
I was out, the phone died. He's with somebody else, but I'm believing him. Yeah, yeah, you believe him. Right. You know what, baby? Like I see a phone in Mumbai, and I got a motor, and I be like, oh, I forgot it with Rimo. If Rimo wasn't answering the phone. <laughs> Rimo, you, know? you are very, you are very <laughs> sore spot yeah. here. You saw, oh, no, you're not going to get it. Of course. 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 You know it's a lie, but at G- least you know it's a lie, but you you no, you believe it. No, you believe and it. And you tell your you friends, Kuti, you are you're stupid. You live in fight with Kitty. Yeah. Why did you take his phone? <laughs> Why? Yeah, you, <laughs> Kitty, you want to ruin my relationship? You see? Yo, so that, that's meant for you. I got you. That's that's meant for I you. Got you. And I think the best way you will never get a man that doesn't cheat. Even the white guys now they cheat. Absolutely. All of them are the same. So you can't say I'm just done and I'm wrong. I'm supposed to be wrong. I cheat. I go dara. When we grow up, we used to think we'd be wrong. The best men you can ever have, they don't cheat. But they also cheat now. So the best thing is, just don't find information about your man. Just be yourself. Stay at home. Look the other way. Do what you're doing. Look, Look the other, other way. way. Oh, Unless that's a nugget. Applause. Yes. That's what I think. Yes, if you want yes. to be happy, unless when you don't no longer want the relationship, Rima, I, I think we need an anti Zozo these, show. You see how all of these men. We need an anti Zozo show. So, so I 100%. Okay. I was telling these guys earlier. I believe in polygamy. Yeah. Um, why do I yeah. believe in polygamy? Like, I, okay, so I just have to be realistic, right? Men cheat, period. Right. I don't want to live in a, in a world where I think it's a fantasy, where I think my man is never going to cheat on me. I don't want to live like that because I'll always be so upset, yeah. right? I want to understand that, you know what? Men play. It's what they do. Yeah. It can come from peer pressure. It can come from insecurities. It, there's a, a world of reasons. Okay, still there's a world of reasons why men do what they do. Um, so I do believe in polygamy. Uh, I, I don't think there's really anything wrong with it. I'd rather he formalize it. It just it makes more sense for me, right? I'd rather go out and say, you know what? This is his wife. This is his wife. This is our husband, and we roll like that. You, you still get a girlfriend. Yes, I, I don't. I don't want to cheat her still. Oh. Yeah, it's no, fine. Still get a but you know what? At what, least. What, what's your take on that, uh, Auntie Zozo? What she just said. Do you, you know what? You, as okay. much as we don't want, I think it's better official. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That there is my nina, my guru. Absolutely. It's better official. Absolutely. Than not right. known. But what I know is, I've, I've got quite a lot of friends that have, are in those kind of setups mm-hmm. right. where the husband will have two or three wives. Right. But they still have girlfriends. Of course. They just never ah, get enough. Yeah. We're greedy. They still cheat. Yeah. So there is no solution to men. No, there they isn't. still Simple. cheat. The only thing, if you want to be happy, just don't look for things. Thank you. If you go on top of the mountain, you will you'll find, find monkeys. Absolutely. They'll be there. Absolutely. So the best thing is just live your life, enjoy yourself, as long as it's coming home. Because as much as people say genius cheated, yes, he might have cheated, but he still came home. Because you were there. At the end of the day, he still came home. There. Because he knew where home was. Absolutely. But it, didn't, it doesn't mean that he didn't he was, cheat. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. He will be wherever, doing whatever he does. But at the end, <coughs> after all is said and done, he knows that I have to be home. But because he chose to respect you. The choice then becomes his respect. Yes. You. Yeah, because you know what? Choice he, becomes easier. He can either come home or not come home. Yeah. But if you're looking for it, you're going through phones. Why would I go in there? Why phone it? Why come here? Why go to the house? Why come here? Why come here? Why come here? Believe it or not, even if women are married, they still flirt with one person or the other. If you take a woman's phone today, it doesn't mean they're sleeping with that guy or cheating with them, whatever. But we speak to different people. Attention. Someone will yeah. you get attention if you don't yeah. give your woman attention, you'll get it from somewhere else. elsewhere. Absolutely. So getting that attention elsewhere will lead to other things that will lead to your woman then cheating. Mm-hmm. So make sure you give your woman all the attention that they need. Mm-hmm. Be with them, those girls you want to be with. Absolutely. Them. But make sure that home is it's safe home. first. I agree. Before you go out. Thank you for Just that. Just make sure that your woman is sa- is safe. Make sure he's sexified. Right, because right. if you don't, someone else will do it for you. That's when you find women sleeping with their garden boys. They sleep with their security guys. They sleep with your friends. Even, oh. Because you are just not there. Oh, you're saying the woman should be sexified? Yeah, you okay. make sure your man is sexified. Yeah, 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 of course. Before you go and sexify the other person. Yeah. Sexify, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because if you don't do it, someone exactly. will do it for you. Absolutely. Someone will do it for you. So you have to make sure. I'm not Thank you. saying it is I'm good for it. women to cheat. Yes. I wouldn't want to cheat on my man. If I'm in a relationship, I would never cheat. I'll give you my whole. I'll give you my 100%. I will not cheat on you because I have got no reason. But don't give me a reason to want to cheat. 
Boys, have you ever cheated? Boys, no. Boys, 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 I've never cheated. Is that a bad thing? It's a very good thing. I've never in my life cheated. You are never meant to cheat. Huh? We are not supposed to cheat. We There's are not supposed to Just like men. Yeah. They'll, you know, they'll even find the verse in the Bible that King Solomon had ten wives. Had this, this, mm-hmm. But you'll never find one verse where a, a woman had two husbands. Yeah. It's not there. It can't. So women are just supposed to stay with one partner. But then the good women, like we said earlier before when we're off there, I've never cheated. Like, you know, I do everything the right way. I do everything textbook way. But I, I'm, I'm not positive this has worked for me. Genuinely, I do things the right way. I don't cheat, you know. I'm not going to shout. I'm not going through phones. I don't want to cry. I, I have to protect sh- my I mental. Shout. I I <laughs> use very strong words in a very low Stop voice. Okay. Right. So I will like discipline you, but I'm not going to shout. I'm not okay. Do I'm a d- drama lady. Okay. So I have done some like I've slashed some tires. I've done some stuff like that. But Pug, why did I do it? Hugged some because cars in front of people's there. houses Wandi and just pusha. left the car. Do kuda. Why the pusher? Why? Why? And it's not good. You touch. Do you understand? I don't want. You made me do hey, it. Hey, okay. You know, don't want to come to your house and take out all your windows. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's not good. You touch. And then tomorrow you're in. They've taken you. It's called yeah. uh, uh, damage. What? What you call it? What's the term? Malicious injury. Malicious to damage yeah. to property. And it's not good. You touch. You know, she goes <laughs> slash my tires. You know, it's not easy. Go <laughs> slash my tires. I just don't believe easy. I just but that, that, that is too much. That's work no, on its own. You know, I wouldn't do that. But do you Me. know why? They are down. My feelings are going to hate. You know, you are my everything. You know, I'll be so confused. But you don't need that. But you are cheating. They, those are the ones that they love. Yeah, but they don't like them decent. No, you know? no, I'm decent. You know, then and then, do you know what I thought the one day when I didn't perform? But you know what, Ranji, you'll never get that moment back. Like what? Shit, you know, it's done. Now I can't start to perform again. <coughs> so I'm performing. But, the performance is over. But although in the last year or so, that shift, and it, I, 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 I'm stuck with a drama. Although I did look for where they were paying for being mature, and I couldn't find it. That was good to go to Second Street, office number three. They pay. I couldn't find it. So I got a wait. I'm mature. I wait. I pay. This time, why my emotions are? My <laughs> wife. You know, when you're a woman, you know it's hurtful, guys. Ga. <laughs> so so knows the the deal. They said women are emotional, men are physical. That's what they say. So is that true? <laughs> I know I'm not question. supposed to be asking questions, yeah. but I'm asking this question. That's what, when you hear, so, oh, the problem with you women, you're so emotional. You invest so much emotions. It's just about being physical. Ranji and is emotional on. and physical, right? No, no. She no. actually wants to cry. No, look at her. Look no, at no, her. No, 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 You know so, what? Physical, I've never gotten there, but yeah. I am I am very, because I think when I go into something, I go into it with my heart. Yes. And unfortunately, I, I was not... I'm just not built that way. I don't say I don't think it has anything to do with upbringing. I'm just not built in a way to where I go with vindictive and malicious yes. with, with anybody. I think you're like me. When I love, I love hard. And it, but but people I fall in with everything. My head, but my toes, everything. But that's is really weak. Has its weakness. Do you know? No, 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 it's not weakness. I don't think it's guys. Guys. No weakness to women. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a weakness. It's only, I think it's only a weakness it's if it's a, a guy it's a character. who falls in that way. No, but, no, but a, guys also should fall in love. Why shouldn't you fall no, in love? No, we fall, we fall, but not like that. <laughs> no, but I mean, there's not... We fall, but that, we fall... That's, yeah, that's, like, that's no, a, oh, But you see what he said. That's major Just league. because they so don't understand... Was, eh, because they don't understand that we fall in love neck deep. Ta, ta, no, ta ta no, but no, but no, but no. Here comes Tino again. Yeah, chicks, man. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. The problem with women is, you let a man do these things to you. And it is stupid. And I say that respectfully in the sense of, even when you know, why are you not checking your man? There's, you're not at peace. You're now there tolerating everything he's doing just because she, Uruti, I'm in love. In you, I can't see Uruti, Uruti, Limo, Uruti, Big Brother. And Nungo Sekerote, ah, she's my, that's my girl, that's my girl, I'll forgive her. No. no but you he, must get to the point where you set boundaries and you're like, how do you say that? And I won't even have to bring up that conversation. Don't buy her quickly. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Ranji, 
Ranji, since you believe in polygamy, why would you have a problem if your your dude uh, is with another girl? No, she wants it you know to what? be official. I want you to say to me, you know what, let's do everything above board. I, res- I must yes, be official Do everything part. above board. Come to me and say to me, you know what, Rungano, this is what I've been doing. I might not take it well initially, but you know what, I can definitely adapt to it. Why? Because your happiness is important to me. When I love, I like really love. Right, okay. I want you to be happy. If this situation doesn't necessarily make you happy, and we should tweak a little bit of something to make you happy, I'm there for it. But let me know. I don't want to hear it from my friends. It's embarrassing. You don't understand how you hurt me when I'm hearing it from my, my friends. They're saying, "Guys, jazz or it at this time." It's not dope. Okay. All right, Zozo. Wow. <laughs> this one is uh, yeah okay. You know, when whatever these girls in in the studio and. They, it degenerates. Gross. It always ends up somewhere else. And <laughs> all right, let me take you back. Um, I'm not going to talk about seven November. I'd written seven Novembers that we talk about it. It's it's a lot of sadness. So I'm just going to take it past the day G died and uh, where the situation is. What is your position uh, with regards to the litigation going on um, regarding G's estate? Um, I ask because at some point there was speculation that you were the hidden hand. Behind the litigation, given your close relationship with Kit Kat. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't know about hidden hand. What I know is um, the courts uh, are still uh, dealing with the situation, and we're hoping soon. We're actually waiting for the judgment at the high court right now to find out what's going to happen, but everything is within the courts, and um, I'm not part of it. I'm just assisting the, the genius family. With whenever they need help from me, but otherwise the family is taking care of Genius Estate. Okay, and um, your relationship with Kit Kat, I, I know you've always had a close relationship uh, when she was alive, I believe. What is the relationship, what is the status of this relationship? We've, right we, I've got no problem with Kit Kat, we, we call. We, he's, he's my bum nini and I've got no issues with him. Okay, because I, I heard there's an issue that happened between, it's not even from Remo or anyone, it's out there on the streets. There's a problem, there's a problem between you and Kit Kat of some sort. Is that true? No, what problem? I'm not, I'm, I'm not aware of it. No, the issue is that, okay, so I did hear about this problem, right? Uh, it had, but it, had, it has everything to do with the whole, I, I think Kitty wanted to take something and then you were like, you can't take it because it, there was, a, there's, on the streets, there's a rift. That your relationship literally just degenerated. It is, but I mean, look, it's speculation. You don't right. know the exact thing that happened, and I'm not right. going to disclose anything about it. All right. So that okay. I'm not going to and, answer. And what is your um, what is your view with regards to the will, the, uh, the authenticity of the will that came out? That, that is I'll a say, I don't think. Look, it's, 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 my, it's my thinking. Yeah. I don't think genius would have written a will. Genius didn't believe in things like that. I don't know where the will came from. Right. They say it was written by G, but I don't. I, I don't believe it was written by genius. Right. Whoever wrote the will, him and God, they know where it came from. But genius didn't believe in wills. He didn't have medical aid. Didn't have you know pol- policies. And then he write a will. Yeah. And then how did he know he was going to die in the car that he had an accident in? Yeah. Those are the questions that I ask whoever originated the will. Yeah, so because the, the issue uh, in, in, the, in the media or in, on social media was that um, G had a lot of cars. Uh, so to have a will where you only write one car instead of the whole fleet it's of dodgy. cars is a bit dodgy. Uh, dodgy. Yeah, of course. So we're not saying that it was doctored or anything. But there are lots of red flags, and uh, people have been talking. Which is why we're in court disputing the will. The family is going to court to go and dispute the will. Why did they accept it in the first place? Because you you have been an advisor to the family from when G died. You've been there the whole time. I wasn't an advisor. I was listening in. You are family. They regard you as family. No, we are family. Yes, yes you have been there. Okay, I think what happened is when the will was accepted, everyone was still very emotional and no one was thinking straight. Mm. Yeah. That's why it was accepted. Because if you remember, that will was accepted exactly less than five days after we buried Genius. So right. people were not thinking straight. Right. When now people started thinking straight, then they started talking about, okay, maybe there are loopholes, maybe there's this, maybe there's that. Maybe you would have written it. But the genius that I knew would right. never have written a will. Right. So, I don't know. Maybe he wrote it, but yeah. I wasn't there. Right. But um, 
the family would have, I think they accepted it because at that time, nobody knew that you could say no right, to, okay. to a will. Well, it's new. And yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think. They only then maybe later on, a month or so, after now everyone was thinking straight. That's when now they st- everyone sat down, they started discussing, and they decided to go back to court. So this is why, so then they did say no. So they accepted it, then went back on the accepting. I don't think they accepted it knowing they were accepting it. Okay. They later found out that uh, they didn't have to accept it. They didn't they have to Hence accept court. it. Correct. Because they were told yeah. by the person who was advising, the, the, the person who was, the, what, what is she called? The Executor. The executor. Mm. Yeah. Said they had to accept it so that uh, everything goes fast right. yeah. at that stage. Yeah. So I also didn't know that um, I was allowed to say no. Because I wasn't part of the... Remember, I wasn't with Genius yeah. at the time of his passing. Yeah. So I was just there to give them a shoulder. Of course. Mm-hmm. But not to be of part of Genius' estate. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's tough. And, um, of course, I think um, with everything that has going, happened with regards to Genius' estates, uh, I see that uh, Dreams Nightclub is still running. Everything seems to be in order because um, I think obviously you've been involved in advising the family and so on. What is the situation with uh, the business in Botswana? Because I believe there was a business in Botswana. I'm not, I haven't been in touch with the family for about the business in Botswana. I know they've gone there several times. There were still some issues that they were trying to finalize. Mm-hmm. So as of now, yeah. I don't know what's going on in Botswana. But I'm sure the, the lawyers and uh, the sisters are taking care of that. Right. Right. Social media was awash not so long ago um, with posts of you and a certain young man um, and speculations that something is happening between you and this young man. What is the correct position? Which young man? Uh, I believe his name is Joseph Mazire. He's uh, Zimpres. Oh, He's in Zimpres. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that Joseph, thing was Joseph over. is a brother, guys. I've, I've heard this so many I don't even pay attention to it. Because to Zanda me... Ikisa, uh, aunties or, or something. So or no relationship, or because something. that is... He's my brother. Got you. It's like if you saw me with Remo, and I give Remo a hug, am I in a relationship with Remo? No. So, no. Angeri, angeri, like it was but never... Really nice nice kiss or okay, something. fine. V11s, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Listen, you ask but the as question, far as uh, you, let's show say, the pictures. If you've got the pictures, if you anyone saw me, bring it on. But Joseph is like a brother. He's a young brother. These are kids that I mentor. Okay. If you are close to somebody, you mentor them. You, you oh, I'm in love with him, yes. But mm. as a brother. Mm. Right. Not as a whatever social media wants to put up. Joseph is married to Melissa. We went to pay, pay a bride price just two, three months ago. Right. That's Joseph's wife. But people just don't want to see people getting along. You can't have a male relationship if you're a female without sleeping with them. Okay. But it's okay That's for men to have female friends yeah. without sleeping with them. Joseph is just a friend of mine. I'm very close to the family. Mm-hmm. Joseph's mother always says, Zodwa, this is a young brother. I'm leave, giving him to you to mentor him and make sure he gets a wife. Right. I'm, 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 I'm an elder sister to Joseph. Okay. Even the mother, the father, they mm. know that. Mm-hmm. Melissa herself knows that. Right. That there's nothing going on between me and Joseph. But social media, whatever social media thinks, really, I'm really at my age. I can't be mm. fighting everybody who comes up with anybody. Just a few days ago, Tino, they saw us on, um, he, he posted me on, when I was on, Z, on ZBC, yeah. on, on ZFM. He was mm. on live. I just walked in. Now some, oh, I saw her being intimate with Tino. This is my son. Right, her mother right. is my friend. His mother is my friend. He's 27. He's the same age as my daughter. So if we listen to social media, really, we're not going to go anywhere. So why didn't you come out and say something? Say something. Why should I give them that? Why should I tell, talk to them? Because they are looking for a reaction from me. And I'm not going to give them that. For what? I don't have and to I mean, How many times are you going to react? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Every time someone says something, I must react. Every, I'm not going to react to that. I don't have time for that. I'm busy trying to find out where I will make the next dollar. Why should I be busy entertaining people on social media that don't have facts? If right. they've got facts, let them bring on. Mm-hmm. Nice. Can you, can you go a little easier? I, I've got a, a good question. Mm-hmm. 
Let's talk no, about. Don't worry, it's okay. He's answered this because yes. I know so it's, many it's people. Because people yes. want, so many want people these believe. Answers. I mean, but that that they, was they want it was answers. it was important to know that because yeah. I, yeah. there's been a lot of discussion around yeah. around him. I've got another. I've, one. I've known Joseph more than 10, 15 years. Right. What's another? You've got another one. I've got another you know, oh. juicy question. Okay. Okay. One. I've got. Uh, it's not about Joseph. No, no it's not about Joseph. You you cleared that one. It's okay. Done. Um, Daniela. There's Although no I way, really want to know about this. There's no too. way we're going to have Zozo come here and, and not, not talk about Daniela. The elephant in the room. Yeah, Daniela. Daniela, uh, I'm told, used to be your stylist um, and or something. You, yeah, you can correct me after, after I'm done. Uh, I'm told Daniela was your stylist or something and that you guys had a fallout. And this is why uh, you were conspicuous by your absence at the at the uh, the Rora, the, the, the marriage Traditional thing. wedding. Because, uh, you know, rich cousins, auntie Zozo, I mean, these are the sort of functions that we expect to see. Um, but you don't attend functions where you're not invited. And you also don't attend functions if someone is not, is not your friend. So right. we, you, because we're rich cousins, we can't just say because you getting married tomorrow, Rora, yeah. we must automatically be yeah, there. Yeah, but I'm told that you were friends, stylist or no, something. No, we used there to was be friends back then. Yeah, we used to have a very good relationship back then. But look, people, people have relationships that break up and things like that just like marriages you get marry someone you break up it does happen there's nothing different between me and daniela so that's all i'll say so, so if so we she, ask if I, i'm getting it that she doesn't want to explain further no, I'm, not, I'm not explaining any further so that's they were I'm friends explaining. they're not friends she didn't go to the road because she wasn't invited. I wasn't invited and that's that and they moved on yeah. but they were friends at some stage yeah. okay all right okay tell us about rich cousins I want to know about rich cousins because I heard who, that you who, are the Don Culion of, of the rich cousins. Who, so who are the rich cousins? And what's that about? Who, like, yeah, who what, are what they? Is what the is it about? It's just a group, just like you can say others. They call themselves poor cousins these days. <laughs> others, call, you know, it's just a name that we came up with. We're a group of ladies that work together, that support each other in okay. different businesses. All right. We all own our own different businesses and. Rich Cousins is, is just a way of inspiring each other, motivating each other to make sure that each one of us in the group, they move from one level to the next level. We lift each other up. We support each other. If one is down, we all put money together to make sure we support each other's businesses. That's how that group came about. There's 13 of us in Ooh. that group, 12 ladies right. and one man. Huh? Yes. Kire. Who's, the, who's that one? Craig. I Craig. love Craig. I really like Craig. Oh, but I see um, that he's the only guy. In there. Oh, he's the only guy. He's always. He's the only guy. So the term rich, is, it's a very uh, powerful term. It, it says, speak it with your tongue and it will come to pass. All right. Because, I, I, because the other question I had was, on uh, that podcast that you, you did an interview, you, you refuted claims that you were rich. Are you rich? No, definition of rich. Yes, you can say I'm rich, I'm rich until you get rich. Even if you're poor, you can still say I'm rich. Are you poor? I'm not poor. If because I'm so poor, God will take it away from me. God has blessed me enough to be you comfortable. Are rich. I'm comfortable. That's her way of saying she's rich. No. I mean, what she she's, can't say she's okay, rich. What she's, but she, she's rich. She, what she's saying is that she's saying is that I know, I, I know from, aunties also. No, but she's, from what I got from what she said is that you know what? I'm gonna put what I want. Because she said rich is motivating. And it is. Yes. So if we call ourselves <laughs> mediocre cousins, it means we're going to reach a level of mediocre. But if you call yourselves rich cousins, it means you're aspiring to be something. There's correct? George Billionaire, he calls himself George Billionaire. Is he a billionaire? But he's an aspiring billionaire. So you're saying he words are power. Be a billionaire. Words he are will power. be a billionaire. He will be a billionaire soon. Yeah. Words are powerful. Words are powerful. Yes. Yes. I'm going to be very rich one day, and all of us are going to be rich at some stage. But well, it's, it's work in progress. It's but work I'm, in progress. I'm putting this challenge to you. God has been good to you. God has blessed you. Yes. You've done very well in yes. your business. Yes. You are rich, but you're denying here that you're rich. You're saying you're okay. I said I'm comfortable. I yes. think you're rich. Do you think I'm, I'm, I'm it's, lying? It's, they say it's in the eyes of the beholder. If you think I'm rich, then I'm rich. I receive. Yeah. That's, a, that's a very Amen. good response, okay. actually. So uh, I heard that in this Rich Cousins, you're the head uh, honcho. You're the one. You're the don. You're the no, don. You're like no, I mean, but boss. this, I mean, that's the whole of Zimbabwe and like everywhere else there in South Africa. It's an assumption that okay. the world has. But that why? I'm the head. Why? Maybe because I'm the one who is more known than everyone else. Okay. Maybe that's why. Right. But I'm not the head. We don't even have a head. I was going to say, is there a head? No, we don't have a head. Okay. We are all, we are all equals. All right. There's no head. We're who all are the equals. other people? Do you want to tell us? 
There's Tandy, there's Danya, there's Nobu, there's Lisa, there's um, Marvelous, there's Belinda, there's Craig. Who did I leave out? Well, a lot, because you said 13 and we're on seven. There's Michelle, there's Chipo. I think. We are on nine. You're missing four people. Oh, you, you. That's ten. So yeah. we're missing three people. They'll forgive me. I have, I've, I've forgotten. Yeah, plus, so plus. how does a person get in this friendship circle? Because obviously it's grown. It's, it's, no, it's grown. It's grown. What, what are the minimum it's grown. So you know what? Now Tapa 13, but obviously if I got about five or six or seven, Sarah, how does one get inside this friendship circle? Um, I think we're enough friends. Okay. We don't need any more. The group is closed. We're not enrolling anymore. The ones that are there, they are there. Right. Yes, but we do have other people that we have around us who are not part of the group. Friends of rich cousins. Of We've got friends of the rich cousins. Got you. We've got, um, um, yeah, friends of the rich cousins. Mm -hmm. We've got relatives of the rich cousins. But we, we work with them, we assist them. They still come to us to, for assistance or advice or, you know, business advice and things like that. But it's just a group that came, by, came, came, came about. We had a birthday club. Where, when it's our birthday, it says still the same number of people. When, when it's your birthday, people put money together and then you throw a party or you buy yourself a gift. It depends what you want to do with the money. Others, they reinvest it in their businesses. Others, they will buy themselves gifts. Others, they will renovate their homes. Different things that people do with the money that you get on your birthday. And, um, you know, I think that's what the rich cousins... So you guys are friends. Offer. Your friends. We are all very Can anybody friends. get kicked out? No. We and you guys, you guys don't fight. Every, like every other family, we fight every day, but we fight and reconcile like any other relationship. Okay. We do fight, but we fight as adults. We advise each other. We discipline each other. We reconcile. You know, we do fight. Any look, if any relationship is, you don't fight, you are lying to each other. Of course. A true relationship, people fight. Of you course. always agree to disagree. I mean, well, listen, from, from what we see in social media, you guys look like you're a tight-knit circle of friends. We're very tight. We, I might be fighting with you as a rich cousin, but if someone else from outside comes to fight you, even if we're fighting, but we fight that person together. Of course. Because us, we're a neat group. We, we want to fight each other as ourselves, but not outsiders fighting us. If an outsider fights one of us, we are all on you. That's how close we are. Absolutely. I mean, listen, like I said, it, from an outsider looking in, you guys have a friendship group that I think everybody would want to have. Yeah. Um, obviously, without knowing the nitty-gritty, friendships are they up and down and all around or whatever the situation is, but you guys ride for one another. And I think that's the true meaning of friendship. You know? this, yeah. I'm sure there are my issues in you. Definitely. No, like any other relationship, yeah. we all have our issues, but right. they are our issues. We deal them within ourselves. Mm -hmm. They don't go out. We handle them within ourselves. Oh, thanks for that. Um, yeah, I, I've run out of controversies. Okay, I have, I have another question to ask. How do you then do all of this that you're doing? You're you. You're doing what you're doing. You're in the social media. You're in the eye of, of Zimbabwe. How do you... Because obviously there's uncomfortable conversations that you have to have with your daughters, right? Because I, like, I don't know what kind of relationship you have with your, your children. Me and my mother have a relationship to where... She's of that generation to where we just don't discuss uncomfortable things. We just brush it under the, the rug. But it's there. It's the elephant in the room. But you're now growing up with daughters that live in, this is 2022. They want to know. They've got friends. So then how do you discuss issues like, you are dating a younger man. How is G in their life? Like, I, I'd like to understand how you maneuver that. Because you're a cool mom. You're, you're the mother that goes, you look good. Eyelash, you, like, you look good. Discuss that relationship. When I met Genius, my younger daughter was six, my older one was 12. So they've literally like grown up with him as a father. Mm -hmm. So he's been there in their lives when they were young until now. So I don't think they ever saw him as a young father. Mm -hmm. They just saw him as a father. Mm -hmm. So yes, we would discuss uncomfortable conversations with them regarding whatever they will have had outside. They will address it with him or address it with me, and then we address it together. But um, we very, we've got a very neat relationship. Mm 
Rima will testify to that with my kids. We discuss everything and thing when they've got boy boyfriend issues, they'll come to me. I want to know who they're dating. I want to know how the relationship is going. I have actually even both of them. They are dating. I've met both the guys that they're dating. We've got. I've also even met their families. We've got. It was difficult at first to accept that my kids are dating because mm -hmm. I was trying to be that mother from back then of course. but we've realized now that you know we have to live in the modern world mm -hmm. if i'm don't have an open relationship with my kids they'll still do things behind my back i don't want my kids to do things that i don't want that i don't know if they have a boyfriend bring him home let's see him what family where does he come from what does he do where does he work those things so i discuss everything with my kids so there's nothing that i do that they do that i don't know because I make sure as much as I can, I provide for them. Like my younger daughter was so close to genius. He provided everything that she needed. So spoiling. Yeah. Because you see, children of today, if you don't provide for them, they want to get it elsewhere. So we want to try and, and provide as much as we can. Is and there a cap though? They, there is a cap because then don't spoil the child. Because you, there's sometimes you over provide, then you end up spoiling the child. They won't go to school. They just buy expensive things and things like that. Give them what they need, not what they don't need. Otherwise, you end up spoiling them. My children have what they need. I don't give them excess. They have what they need. They ask for whatever they want. If I feel that they need it, I'll provide. If I think that it's not necessary, I will not give it to them. Not because I cannot afford but because I know they don't need it. My children are not spoiled. Many, pe many a times people say, if I was Zozo's child, look at her daughters. If I was a child, I would do this, I would do that. But my kids, my daughter will not take a penny. If I leave a dollar on the table, I will find it there. They want it, they will ask. And I will give it to them if I think they need it. Great stuff. Um, thanks a lot for that, Zo. Uh, we got a flag. Um, I think um, if you want to ask her, do you have one more question to ask though? Because we now need to round up, uh, but I think we've pretty much covered almost everything. The only last question I had was, do your kids, do they, do they work? Do they have any, like, what are their interests? Is there, with a mother like you, right? You're a go-getter. You grind. You do what you got to do. Do you have, do your children have different projects that they're working on? Do, does anybody work with you? Like, Okay, the older one started her own brand of la lashes. I'm sure it's called Glam Lashes. She started that brand, I think, three years ago. Now they've got, uh, a, the both of them have started a company called Infinity Bloom. They sell infinity flower roses that, um, they, are, they are real roses, but preserved. They last for a year to two years. Nice. That's the business that they have. They've been quite busy during the Valentine period. Those are, they are, they, they are the brains behind the two brands. So, and the elder one also, I'm grooming him to take over from me at the travel agency. So she's actually working under me at the moment to take over from me as the new face of travel. Nice. Well done. Great stuff. Thank you. Uh, it's very important. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Auntie Zozo, for coming and blessing us with your presence. It was very insightful. Um, uh, you've uh, clarified a lot of the things that were out there in social media and you know, we tend to believe what we hear because we don't hear the other side. So it's always good when you come through um, and uh, clarify everything. Yep. Yeah, thank you very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Ladies it and gentlemen, nice the wonderful Zozo. Zo. Thank Sorry. you very much. Huh? Zonga ziri down ta up ta right is we Nyad za chute se narrative ndai chid we Kanam chida uti visa deep ndai pid we Make you spill a bean if you know what I mean Monday It's time!